Hi, I'm Lisa with Christ in Crafting. I'm in the middle of a 30 day marathon creating small projects that you could make on your own to for yourself for home decor or to gift to your loved ones. It's been an exciting journey. Some of the times that you're watching these videos, I have a special guest sharing their life verses or verses that are really important to them or a verse that God speaks to them to share during this marathon and it's been a lot of fun. This week, I'm gonna have two very special guests. Next week, I have three special guests and the list keeps growing so I'm excited to see what happens. But all of these creatives are from around the nation sharing the gospel and sharing their gifts of DIY crafting. So be sure to follow the playlist and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I had two very special guests. One was my mother-in-law and she had painted a decoupage for the first time. If you haven't watched that video, please go ahead and click the link and watch it after this video. The second one was yesterday and my grandson and I created this frame using the IOD mold, resin, and DIY paint. And super, super fun. This could be a gift tag. This could be something that you put a magnet on, put it in the back of your, on the front of your, your refrigerator, or there's so many different ways that you can utilize these. You could make a whole bunch of them and put them on a, a piece of wood and hang them on your wall. He thought it was a great idea to hang this on our laundry room, the, the little knob, and I kept it there yesterday for a little bit. So there's so many different things that you can do to create fun art and make them as gifts as well. All right, let's get to today's project. I've talked a lot about this when using DIY paints, tarnished pearl, you can have a false sense of security on the coverage that you're getting. Notice here, this is dry and this is not dry. It's wet and it's very see-through and you might think you don't have really good coverage for your first coat, but you actually have better coverage than what it looks like. So always put your first coat on, let it dry, and then determine if you need a second coat or not. This is a slick surface. It's metal, a uh, metal type surface. And so your first coat will be more of a scratch coat. Here we are mostly dry. I just have a few places. Now because this is a little bit thicker and I used a heat gun, I actually got some cracks and I really like that feature. I did get some bleed through right here but I'm not gonna worry about that I did clean this um, just with a, a, a cloth it took away the dust and I'm just gonna go ahead and pour some paint in here and apply a second coat and you're gonna see the coverage is gonna be so much better I'm gonna go ahead and mist this to reactivate the paint and make it flow So the pattern on this platter was vines. And at first I thought, you are the vine, I'm the branches for my scripture. Uh, but then I remembered I really, really wanted to use this. This is a part of the Fruitful Harvest stamp collection. Um, it's an IOD stamp and it is so beautiful. And I wanted to use this with something saying, be fruitful, or something of that nature. And so I decided that I wanted to use this stamp, put the stamp together of what I wanted to say. And I wanted to say fruitful life. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to put this on here and get this like this stamped on. And so I'm just going to go ahead and stamp this. So I'm using a thin mount. You can use the acrylic that comes with your stamp. This is the farmhand stamp and this is the typesetting stamp and it's great to mix fonts. So I'm just going to take my IOD ink that I've placed in an ink pad and I'm going to go ahead and just pat it. You don't want to go too hard. What I like about the farmhand stamp and you can really see it now that it's coming to life is that it's imperfect. So 
even if you don't get it all lined up, the letters are not made to be perfect. It's like that Ray Dunn type of font and it, and it comes out super, super cool. The ink is permanent and so you want to make sure you don't get it on your design. And because I'm going to have to press it hard, that could happen. Always make sure your stamps are nice and clean because when you hover over, if they fall off, I'm gonna put it more to this way and I'm gonna let that hold and then I'm gonna push down. And because, because of this, I could have cut this and made it fit, but I didn't wanna cut it just because I didn't wanna. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure I get, that one's gonna come off, I think. I'm just gonna make sure I get all the letters firmly. I'm not gonna, I'm not pushing hard. I just want to get a good impression. All right, so I need to reuse my F and my U. And so I'm just going to clean them off. So I'm going to place them right side up where I want it. And because these letters are flimsy, I, I like to use them on here. And I'm just going to put them on here and then I'm going to re-stamp them. Over where I want it. And I'm just going to press it. Sometimes you have to go with the flow. I did it opposite. I should have stamped this first and then put my letters out, but sometimes you just go with the flow or I could paint over it and start over, but I don't really want to do that. So I'm going to let this dry. Now to paint this, I'm going to use DIY paint making powders. This is date night. Aren't you glad? Go Go. Date night, aren't you glad, Van Gogh Go. And I just put some here. I just took the poly bag that one of the stamps came in and I just put this here. I have a piece of cardboard so that you can see it. I'm going to grab my Fine Mist sprayer. anyway so I see that they just kind of happened you just need a little bit of powder to water ratio and I'm gonna blend some of these colors together to make new colors and I just have some cheap Walmart brushes I'm done with this I'll get a green color which is plant lady for the leaf right. here we go I'm going to, I like to sprinkle a little bit of water or spray a little bit of water and then I'm going to take my brush and start
I'm using ink. The ink is permanent, it's not gonna go anywhere. If I use DIY paint, it would give me a really, really cool effect and I would be able to reactivate the paint and get it to blend. I've shown that before. And it's super, super fun. I probably made way too much watercolor. So I might have to pull another project out and have a little bit more fun. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of my green color and I do wanna mix it with a little bit of the yellow. See how it, inst See how it instantly turns and I have some yellow here? So in order to add a little bit of that red, I'm just taking my brush and my baby wipe. I'll go ahead and add a little bit of the green. I still had red on there. And take some yellow, mix with the red as well. Rub it in, wipe it off. Now it's getting a little muddy. Just wipe that off. Just add a little bit of interest. Now I'm gonna take a clean baby wipe and I'm gonna go ahead and distress this because I do want not to make a mess and I almost did. I do want some of the leaf pattern, the original metal, I want it to come through. I haven't sealed this, it's so easy to just wet distress using DIY paint. And God wants us to have a fruitful life. He says be fruitful and multiply. He calls, he asks us to bear fruit. Without him, we can't bear fruit. And so when we go back to the scripture of he is the vine and we are the branches, it's when we're connected to him that we can produce that life-giving fruit in other people's lives, in our own lives. And we have to remember always to stay connected, to stay connected to that vine. Um, an apple in an orchard couldn't grow if it wasn't connected.
connected to the apple tree or a grape connected to the vine. And so that's what God is trying to tell us, that we have to stay connected to Him so that we can produce good fruit. Everybody produces fruit. We're either producing good fruit or we're producing bad fruit. And He wants us to produce good fruit. I hope that you were inspired by this. Alright, to seal this up, I'm going to be using DIY paint, big top. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click on the playlist so that you can see all of the videos in this marathon. I'll be adding videos daily during the 30 days of marathon. I hope this was inspiring to you. If it was, please post in the comments and let me know. I look forward to hearing from you. I hope that you have an incredibly blessed day.